All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning. So, obviously, set the time up to set up a camera, make some coffee, and kind of show off the <laughs> this little table next to me with the fire going, right? Let's bring that in. That's the Schwarzabina. Um, you hear that? 6.30 in the morning. You can hear the bass over there. My local favorite military installation. Yep. So it's 6.30. Anyway, let's get this camera back up here. This little table I have next to me. It's a really cool little thing. Got that last winter. And as you saw with the little caught me making the coffee and everything there. It works pretty well. It was pricey. But that thing is really handy, especially if you're in the backpacking. But... Let me get a swig of uh, coffee here. MRE coffee with MRE creamer with um, Korean Ganu, I guess they pronounce it. K A N U. See how this tastes. Ooh, it's hot. Try not to burn my lips here. This whole thing was just uh, surrounded by heat. Mmm, it's all right. It's a little watered down. I need to lose a little less water, but it's all right. You know, I thought it'd be kind of good to, to kind of like talk about this time of the year. Now, what I want to do is, uh, in particular about this time of year, like, you need to go out now. <laughs> and uh, when I say you need to go out now, I was talking to some buddies, and we're talking about going out, and they want to know where to go camping and where to go enjoy the outdoors. So. This video is kind of like actually for the people of Pyeongtaek, right? The people around Camp Humphreys. What I want to do is, besides enjoy my coffee, is take a moment and enjoy this. I want to show you some of the stuff I used last night. Like, not because I'm anything great or it's even great. But hey, if you really do want to experience the outdoors and you're not sure what to do, well, let me show you some stuff here I use personally. You might find it enjoyable. But then let me show you the local area because this is an interesting place that I go uh, visit regularly. Very interesting. But it's got its, um, well, things you just gotta be aware of. So anyway, let me enjoy this and then I will get back with you. All right, my alarm clock went off in the middle of me filming and thus <laughs> interrupted, okay. Yeah, I, was, I woke up like, what, an hour plus ago, but I was supposed to wake up at 7 a.m., which it is right now. Sunrise, 7 a.m. All right, so I'm going to use my camera. I'm just going to walk around here. All right, so get back to the topic. Why should you come? Like I said, the weather is gorgeous for sleeping. It's not really hot during the day. High 60s, 70 was about the high yesterday. Low 50s or so. It's really great sleeping weather. Two, now you see all this grass here? By the time summer rolls around, okay, that grass is gonna be up to this tripod right here. Maybe a little lower. And it's gonna be really hot. And then on top of that, you are gonna have, you can see a little taste of it right here. Hold on, right there. You could probably see that spider web right there. See that? This whole forest is gonna be covered with spiders and it's gonna be covered with webs. And you literally have to fight your way in here. This vegetation gets so thick, okay, that you just gonna you need a good cutting tool to chop through all the branches, chop through the grass, make your way to an area, and um, settle down for the day. I mean, I'm gonna tell you, like, if you were like a fugitive and you wanted to hide from people, this is a good place to hide, because most people, like, just right now, do you see anybody around me? Nope. I don't see anybody around me. And there's a good reason. This area is not a great place to go camping at, really. It's not that great. You, you know, for many reasons. Uh, spiders galore, I've made videos on those in the past. If you look through my library, oh look, more spider webs right up there. They're forming, those little creatures are out already. Called Kingdom of the Spiders. Yeah, I, got, I made several short videos of all the spiders and they'll occupy the trees and stuff. It's a mess. Um, but anyway, so before all that stuff grows in, get out here now. And plus, it's easy to find. 
Like I could show you a trail. See like right here, everything's open. So it's easy to walk in and out. That's good stuff. But now, in fact, the exit is right over there. Easy to find, right? This is good stuff. But now here's what you gotta watch out for. Another reason why I think you should do this now rather than later. But let me show you something here. You see all these, uh, this tree here? You got this one? There is a lot of dead trees here. And this is good and bad. The good part is, if you want to, like, make a fire or something, it's very easy just to, these things snap, right? You don't even need cutting tools for most of this stuff. Uh, but the bad news is, dead trees are easy to cook, you know, start a fire, but they burn very quickly. So you're constantly having to feed it. And two, look how, if I'm surrounded by dead trees, there's a possibility, like, say, this one here, could fall on me so those are called widow makers when you get those uh because they make widows right you get those big trees and if they snap they can fall on you like look at this one something probably the wind blew this over uh another thing you gotta look out for in this area is these um what brambles and thorns these are everywhere this is why you need a cutting tool when you come in here you're gonna hack especially again in summer you're gonna have to hack through all this stuff to get in here but if you do it now let's put this down okay cool but if you get in here now while they're low to the ground you know they haven't fully uh grown yet yeah you can find open areas like right here it's good to go um let's see some really cool things about this area now is there's a lot of deer here people don't realize that there's a lot of wildlife here it's small wildlife like deer when it comes to dusk and dawn at dusk and at dawn is when they're active they'll be trampling around especially sometimes if you're closer to uh there's pockets of water in here besides the river of course they hang out there so in the morning sometimes when i come out of here um You'll catch the deer by the water or something, and you'll, you know, scare them off or something. But nonetheless, I have no means, or I have no desire to hurt them. It's just really cool to watch them run through the woods. And at night, because they're territorial, they like to call out, rawr, rawr. I did a couple of video recordings on those a few years ago. Maybe I should, uh, I might post them on here somewhere. But yeah, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's scary. When you don't know what that thing is, it's really creepy. But once you know, okay, it's the deer they're either mating or you're in their territory and they're just calling out no problem but uh yeah, let's walk around here just show you around i will tell you this too if you lose something say like you drop a tent stake or something find it either now or it's gone or expected to be gone forever um i got a tarp in my backpack there and was it last summer, and it was in summer, early summer, I'm camping, and I had the tarp staked down. Well, it was a metal, silver metal stake, one of those like hook style, popped out of the ground. And even though it's silver, but the vegetation was so thick, I couldn't find it. So I figured, you know what, I'll just come back and find it later, I gotta get home. So what I would do from time to time, I come back to the same tent or campsite and look for it and i still haven't found it and one thing that complicates it is even though i marked where i entered this area the area i entered and stuff again you see all these tree dead trees blown over blown them the wind has knocked over the trees that i used to go by so now what was my markers what i used for marking that's gone those trees have been knocked down torn down something so i can't even find the exact location anymore so again, the point is, if you lose it, immediately find it, go look for it, don't go home. And let me uh, open this up, give me a second. I'm gonna show you that tarp I was talking about, stand by. 
Yeah, this is the tarp, by the way, the DD tarp, three by three meters. So it's roughly like nine and a half to 10 feet, right? In the American system. Yeah, I lost one of the stakes. Fortunately, I keep backups, like in this in particular, this bag. You can see it right here, these red ones. Those are my backup stakes, so I'm okay. But nonetheless, it's just annoying. If you lose something, I mean, if you drop something, you immediately look for it. Don't expect to find it later. Now, having said that, another great thing about being in this area is tarp camping. So right now, I took, you know, I've talked about before where I wanted convenience and comfort. So I switched over to using these uh, tents, especially if you're going to go all year round. If you're going to come here in like summertime, you need this. Do not use this because of, like I said, all the spiders and stuff. But at this time of the year, in fact, I might do this next week if I get a chance to come back here. Use a tarp. It's really awesome. You know, there's if you don't know how to use a tarp, just Google it. There's tons of videos and stuff. Um, the bugs aren't that bad. The weather's nice. And it's easier to carry that than a bunch of, like, tents and some other stuff. It's really lightweight equipment. So that's another pro. All right. So I think that's enough for me. My whole point of making this was just, uh, it's kind of improvised. Nothing really planned, but I just want to talk about why it's a great time to go out now. Get your camping time in. Maybe a couple of things you might want to bring with you. But not, but by no means necessary, right? The weather's great. It's not very thick. Um, great place to, it's close by, it's local, especially again for people who live in the Camp Humphreys area. So anyway, that's it for this morning. Uh, thanks for watching this. Sorry if I rambled, but uh, appreciate it. And you all have a good one. Bye.